Hello. I don't often say this, but I've been working at Wentworth Woodhouse now for over 10 years. I was a visitor guide for Mr. Clifford Newbold, the last private owner, and I'm still taking visitors around the house today. For this video in the Wentworth Woodhouse Questions and Myths series, the question is, how did the trust come to own Wentworth Woodhouse? Following the death of Clifford Newbold in 2015, Wentworth Woodhouse was put up for sale. A few years before he died, Mr Newbold met Dame Julie Kenny, a local businesswoman and entrepreneur, and she was inspired by what she saw. Julie wasn't the only one who was inspired. The Wentworth Woodhouse Preservation Trust had been formed in 2014 by the heir to the Fitzwilliam Estates, Sir Philip Naylor Leyland, and Marcus Binney of Save Britain's Heritage. The Trust raised the money to buy the site and Julie joined as Chair of the Trust to help finalise the purchase. Following the purchase in 2017, we've embarked upon an ambitious 25-year plan to regenerate the site and to use it as a catalyst for positive change in Rotherham and across South Yorkshire. It's both exciting and challenging but already we're seeing the positive economic and social impact that our work is having in the region as we bring this magnificent building back into the hearts of the communities it serves. I'm so proud to still be part of the Wentworth Woodhouse story, which for me began back in the 1960s when I was a student here at Lady Mabel College of Physical Education. Join us next time to find out more about this incredible place.